welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about potential in gravita uh, gravitational in electric fields. Okay, so we're going to talk about potential in electric fields and in particular radial electric fields. So I've got on the board the formula for electric potential and this is the base formula for electric potential. An electric potential at any point in something causing the field is the energy that either the field is giving it or you need to add to this object to remove it from the field. And just to recap, if the energy is positive, okay, this means that the field did the work, so the field repelled it, so the field uh, gave the energy to leave the field. If the energy is negative, the energy needs to be supplied. Okay? And just to remember, this is the this charge here is the charge in the field. So this is the charge that's being affected by the field. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at this as a radial thing. So we've looked at it before in a uniform field. And we found that because the force is constant, the potential is proportional to the distance. And that's how you get electric field strength is V over D. But in a radial field, the force isn't constant. The force changes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this energy formula. I'm going to make it the base formula for work done. So that's force times distance over charge. And of course, in a radial field, the force that is causing this is Coulomb's law. So F is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, which is the permittivity of free space, times Q1, Q2 over R squared. Okay? One of these Qs is the thing affected by the field, and one of these Qs is the thing causing the field. So the one... I normally say that one's the thing causing the field. And this is affected, okay? Which is that key there too, okay? So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to have 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 over the distance between the charges squared times the distance over Q. All right. So what's going to happen if I rearrange this a little bit more? I'm going to end up with a formula that looks like this. Okay. So as I've shown you before, two of these charges, Q2 and the one below, are the thing being affected by the field. And they're divided by Joule, so they cancel each other out. Now this radius is the distance between two fields, okay? This distance is the distance that the force is acting upon. So the force is acting upon this distance here. And this is the distance between the fields. So this distance, which is all about energy, cancels out with one of the R's. So I'm left with a formula for electric potential of a field being 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R. And remembering this Q is the, the thing, the charge causing the field. In my previous video, I actually talked about the fact that V is directly proportional to 1 over R. As you can see, this is a constant. Charges of the thing causing the field is not changing. Uh, so, constant, 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 constant. V is a constant here. Keep that in mind. Mm. Okay. Should I do that in blue so you can actually see it's a little different? Okay. There we go. There's, these are all constant. So I know that V is proportional to 1 over R. 
Now, if my charge was negative, I would have a negative potential. If my charge was positive, I would have a positive potential. Which means that if I go back to this formula, depending on what I put down here, the energy would end up as positive or negative. So if I had a negative charge, I have a negative potential there. If this charge, the thing that was in the field, was also negative, I rearrange that to potential charge times charge is energy. Okay. If my charge was also negative, this would end up being positive, which means they are repelling. Okay. So that there is the basic formula for, equi uh, for potential in a radial electric field. Be aware that, of course, this is potential. This equation here is the potential of the thing causing the field. You can then work out the individual energy of the thing in the field by using this formula here. So that is electric potential in radial fields. Thank <laughs> you.